sorry, it's on the phone, I didn't hear it. I'm assuming you rang the bell? Yes. Hi, come on in. Oh, yes, my car. Right. Thank you. Come right. on in. Good. I'm, I'm sorry. getting a little worried. Maybe I came too soon. I'm, happy. I'm so happy that it happened that out the window, and I'm like, who's that red car? So I said, oh, it must be you. Come on in. It was working cold this morning, and then in the middle of the day. Okay, I leave the way. Chilly. I have one of those old, old, old beauties. I see that. Okay. Pilot. Nope, you're good. Okay, so you let me know if you need any. Yep. Just a little bit. So it stopped working today, you said, yes? Yeah, I, was, I had to guess. I would probably around 12 30 if I had to figure out exactly. Everything is cold. The morning was fine. I don't know. Touch of magic. Touch, <laughs> touch of magic. I have no idea. <laughs> that just means that. It just means that this is probably no good. Thank you, Hashem. It's working, right? What did you say? <laughs> no, I said, thank you, Hashem. It's working. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> we pray every time. Every winter, we pray. We want to live as long as possible. I hear you, but um, and it's an old boiler, that's for sure. It's yeah. Surprise it. You don't have a basement? Interesting. All right, so we're going to turn off the other two zones. There's three zones here. We're going to we're going to turn off two of them to so let this heat up. And there's a reason why drip legs are not allowed in New York City because of this reason. Just like this. Look at this. See, so they stole gas from the water heater and took it to the dryer. That's the reason why they outlawed drip legs in New York City. Like this. No bueno. Not allowed anymore. Sediment traps. Let's see if this turns off the boiler at temperature. We're at 125. So that will turn off at 180. And then it'll turn back on once it drops down low enough. All right, we're still burning. We are a little under 180. And we are almost at 180 on the try to cater gauge. That thing is old. What year is the house built? 70 something? 71 or 72. Wow. Like All right, so in a few moments, it should turn off. And if it doesn't, well, okay, there it turned off. So that is satisfied. Now we're going to wait for. Now I want you to turn those other zones on now. Yeah, the two other ones. And then now we'll, we're going to deplete the water that's in here and make sure it turns back on. And then, you know, like I say, we'll just have another. Thank you, Michelle. All right. So let's turn off those other two zones now, or just whatever's easiest for you. I want to do it a couple, couple more times. Yeah, let's turn it off. Yeah, and then. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We'll let this thing go to temperature again and turn off and then turn back on again and maybe we'll see the cover off. All right, we're almost at 180. 125,000 BTUs. The serial number is uh, not that legible. Little baby expansion tank. I can't believe. It. Oh. So the burner turned off. So let's raise up those thermostats again. We can turn on those thermostats back on. Yeah. And we'll see if it uh, turns back on. Literally, it's just 
resting here. Crazy. <sighs> All right, so it's turned on and off a couple times. Someone drilled a hole in the flue a number of years ago, and Just as I thought they would be. Wow. Incredible. <sighs> no oxygen. Sky high. Carbon monoxide. Let's uh, clipboard that and hit OK. Let's print those results. All right, I made a gas pressure adjustment on the outlet side of the gas valve. Now, I know that this system requires a minimum of three point inches of water column, but uh, that's irrelevant right now. I need to try to bring these numbers down. You know, we had hardly any O2, so now we're at 5.4%. Carbon monoxide is still dropping. Seven, 70 and dropping and when our stack temperature did go up 620 degrees this literally this boiler is cooking prime example if you want to test it you're guessing and now i'm testing for draft we good but damn she burning hot if you ain't testing you're guessing I'm not gonna put this on there. It's gonna overheat and make this black, but here's those initial readings. Here's after. Crazy. Literally crazy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was a perfect example service call that if you ain't testing, you're guessing. Unless you have the right tools for the job, Maybe find yourself a different job. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Mike Dyack. I am a master plumber and HVAC contractor across the states of Florida, South Carolina, and New York. And if you live in the Long Island, New York City metropolitan area, and you're tired of getting bamboozled by your HVAC contractor, Pipe Doctor Home Services would love to help you. My phone number is 516 three four eight six three zero zero you can also save time book online at pipedoc.net thanks for watching guys catch you in the next one be well god bless stay safe it's beeping like a lunatic because of that right there <laughs>